have an extreme go big or go home attitude with most everything I do, so we went big. I wanted something unique to drive around and draw attention. Tow trucks are known as hooks, tow truck drivers are known as hookers, and that's the theme I went with. My uh, business slogan is the biggest hook around because my business, I've got the largest tow truck in the area. Big hookers, just something I built out of a bunch of stuff I had laying around to drive around and have fun with. The build process started with just an idea. Um, too many hours spent behind the wheel thinking of how to build it, how to make all the different pieces work together, and how to be different. Out here, you, you can't just run to the store and buy things, so most things are made out of stuff you've got laying around. That's always been a way of life for us, is to make do with what you have. Brandon pieced together the big hooker himself with a little help from his girlfriend and son. The chassis came from a 2007 Freightliner semi-truck that Brandon recovered. The huge Detroit diesel V8 is from his first ever heavy wrecker. And the truck's body is made from two old wheat trucks owned by his grandfather. But the engine's very unique. They have a very unique sound. This is the two-stroke Detroit diesel. We had the radiator custom built to make sure that it stays cool. We fabricated the, the long swing arms to get the axle out front here to give it the hot rod appeal. Molding the two cabs together is by far the hardest thing. I'm not a, I don't like working with sheet metal. I've never attempted anything like that before. I'm not sure I ever want to do it again. It's naturally rusted back enough to where you got to look close to see where we welded it together here. The hook here, when we dug a hole in the ground and built a forge, we melted down truck rims and pistons and just any scrap aluminum I had laying around. I cast my own three foot tall aluminum hook. Where the bottom here is starting to get polished, that's from people getting in and out of the hook, taking their pictures. Between the two exhaust pipes, there's almost a thousand pounds of exhaust. They double as a guard in case somebody would happen to hit me. They would hit this pipe and that pipe ain't going anywhere. And it also acts as a running board to get in. In it, it gives you a place to step to get in. You just after a long drive, if you're wearing shorts, you want to be a little careful. It will burn your legs. The interior here, we went pretty basic. I didn't get fancy. We just left it pretty much just sheet metal, put a little sound deadening in it. So we put the seats out of a 2014 Ford F-150 Harley Davidson edition in for the front seats, put the center console in, and modify the shifting mechanism to work with the Allison automatic. The funnest part is driving. It's like driving a semi. The steering is very unique on it, so you gotta kind of just guide it down the road. And it's very responsive. You kinda gotta be comfortable with it to drive it. It's got a lot of acceleration. It gets up and goes. It does some pretty crazy burnouts. We go through about eight sets of tires a year with it. I didn't really realize how well it would smoke them huge tires. We put roughly 10,000 miles a year on it, traveling to different car shows. Everywhere we go, we get jaw-dropping responses. It's just nonstop people stopping in here to check it out and take pictures. My daughter, is infatuated with it. She wants me to escort her through the parade for homecoming and stuff with it. She's already got plans to take it when I die. 